what's up so today i'm going to be teaching you kinds of noun and last week i did not upload english teaching that's why because of school just started and i'm back to school so yeah anyways i'm going to be teaching you all types of nouns so let's get into the video a noun that gives a common or a general name to people place animal or thing it is called and known as common noun okay for example we don't know which road uh, we are t- the person is talking about hospital and lady so we don't know which lady they're talking about or which hospital they're talking about yeah so common noun as you are uh, seen ppt it is a general common thing for example a book table you know that is a common general thing but we don't know what type of it it is not detailed it's just a general name to everything it is given a name you know next we have proper noun so proper noun is actually the complete opposite of common noun a uh, noun noun that is the name of a particular person place animal thing so yeah it is a particular name uh, it is a like specific thing you know for example as it says mrs sharma we are talking about a uh, mrs here and even if there are lots of lots of surname uh, lots of lots of names um it is still a proper noun and for proper nouns we use a capital first letter is capital a uh, samsung phone it is a specific type of phone what is it samsung phone and pune it is a city we all know it is not just a regular city it is like a specific place you know and pomeranian okay pomeranian is a type of dog there uh, it's a given name for a specific dog they are very fluffy and all that but yeah they are all proper nouns so yeah next we're going to be learning about collective noun so hmm collective noun things is called collective noun okay for example pack like school set and swarm are collective nouns okay a pack of wolf a uh, school of fishes a set of brushes a swarm of bees as you see it is a collective noun it is a name for a group of things animal people okay then we have abstract and concrete nouns that you cannot touch or see are called abstract nouns nouns for example happiness honesty can you see them you cannot touch them as well so they are abstract nouns and co- nouns that you can touch and see are concrete nouns the total opposite and yeah for example books table bed whatever you know you can touch them you can see them so yeah and then we have other types of nouns other types of nouns so i have put uh, this in category category because there are very little to know about and so yeah as you can see here there are very little to know about so i just put it in a group so countable noun nouns that can be counted nouns that can be counted are called countable nouns nouns that can be counted are countable nouns for example pencil flower or watch they are all countable nouns you can count them one pencil two pencil one flower two flower or a bouquet of flower that is called a collective noun watches you know uncountable nouns uncountable nouns nouns that you can not can not at all count for example uh, for example milk butter water you cannot count them you use them in liter liter milliliter grams kg you know you cannot count them and compound nouns okay so compound noun so they we made a, a noun a, a noun or a word from two other nouns so first example is textbook text and book two different you made it into another word 
by a flower. Sun, flower, sunflower. It is a totally new and different word. Then we have desktop. Different desk top. Different different thing, and we made it into a new one. So that's it for today, everyone. Hope you understand what are the types of noun, and there are, I think, three more nouns. Yeah, there are three more nouns: pronouns, uh, singular noun, plural noun. But they have. I will be putting them into another video because I they are like. Uh, more you have to learn about them. There are rules you need to learn. There are so much, so much, so much more you have to learn. Uh, in singular and plural noun, pronouns are easy. But you know, uh, still I will put them in next week video. I hope you will see. I hope I'll see you then. And also I will be doing nouns possession and noun gender because they also have a lot more to learn and a lot more depth into them. So. Yeah, and anyways, I'll see you next time.